Hey guys, today we're checking out the 2023 BMW iX M60. Let's take a look. So the BMW iX M60, released in 2022. The iX M60 sports a 255 horsepower motor up front and a 483 horsepower motor out back for all wheel drive. Dual motor setup produces 532 horsepower and 749 foot-pounds of torque. With that, you do get a boost up to 610 horsepower for a short time uh, when you're in sport mode. Let's take a look at the options here. This one comes in with a base price of 108,900. It's in black sapphire metallic, Amido perforated leather, has the executive package. No interior camera on this one, probably due to chip shortages. The 22 inch air performance bicolor wheels uh, it does have a mobility kit because these cars do not come with run flat tires two axle air suspension whole bunch of options and features on it the biggest is going to be the power for this uh, total price on this one is 117 245. obviously you have your keyless entry so you have your lock there unlock here in here you have a emergency open so this is actually a door handle it's cable actuated so you'll see the cable in there and that's what that does so it only work if the power for the car is off so if you open this up to unlock it you actually have to close this and open it back up again to work it to actually unlock the car for you taking a look on the inside here a little bit different for bmw obviously we have our seat controls here so that's a, that's a new thing that they're going towards now, putting the seat controls a little bit more accessible. This one's equipped with the Bowers and Wilkins. Has a really nice backlighting and everything. And these have a nice amber effect on them. Obviously this one comes with the iDrive 8, which is pretty standard across the board for most cars now. In here, everything standard is with iDrive 8. So nothing really too different there. Obviously you have your music your settings, your phone, your navigation, um, your center, your like your shifter and everything for your center console is here. Pretty standard, just pull back, push forward, press the park button, that'll throw you in a park and apply the parking brake. Start stop button, now up there. This is equipped with the wood trim. So you do have a front lift system. You have your different drive settings. So you have like, you know, drive off support, iconic sounds, uh, lane departure warning. You can adjust your charging in there and everything. You have your camera settings, so you can turn that on. Obviously you have the 360 camera and everything, which looks really, really good. You have your different modes. So if you go into modes here, just press this button right here. You'll go into modes. You have personal, sport, efficient, expressive, and relax. Um, Biggest one we'll look at today is probably gonna be the sport one. You'll see the traction off there. What that allows me to do is when I do that and I activate it with the traction off, but what this allows you to do now is when I put it into, put it into drive, I will actually be able to use launch control with this. So the iX M60 does have launch control available. As long as you act, put it in sport mode and you activate the uh, traction control off, it'll allow you to use launch control. So similar as all the other ones as before, I'll link a video here if you have questions on launch control. Just basically foot on the brake, foot on the gas, floor it as quick as possible. You'll see it activate, use launch control. So we can kind of get a look at both screens at the same time. So you'll see here, obviously it has battery temp, everything uh, RPM, horsepower, foot-pounds of torque. So when you do use launch control, I take my foot all the way down on the gas. Pretty neat there how it'll activate that. And then you'll see it here too. Obviously you have your backup assistant. That's now pretty standard on a lot of the newer BMWs with the iDrive 7 or iDrive 8. park there real quick one big feature you do have is going to be your sunroof so you have two different modes you can activate it 
Uh, one's going to be open. One's going to be transparent. So you'll notice that tree there. Pay attention to it. When I press this button and close it, you'll barely be able to see it. So it kind of has like an opaque effect where it whites everything out and blocks it out for you. And the seats here, really nice leather, really nice material. Definitely support you and hold you very comfortable. You do have the opening here. Looking inside the back of the seat, tons of room, plenty of room in there. I'd sit in there, but I'm not a good comparison. Not that tall, so. For me, I mean, I have plenty of leg room. Again, I sit really close when I drive, so that doesn't help too much. But taking a look here, um, you do have a modular port back here, so you can put, you know, any accessories that BMW offers for these. You have two charging ports. So if you have a tablet holder back here, you can throw that on and everything there. Rear climate control, pretty awesome there. You have your heated seats and everything for back here as well. So convenient there, nice with that black trim. And then pretty decent storage back here. Obviously this trunk design's a little bit different. It kind of looks almost like a clamshell there, opens everything up. Uh, you do still have some lights back here, which is convenient. So if you do open it up on a busy street, you have a little bit of, you know, visibility and protection. It does come with a charging cable uh, and an adapter. So this is a 220 adapter here. Take a look underneath, I'll open it up. You'll have your regular charger down there. And then you also have your um, mobility kit for your uh, tires as well. So not too bad. And you do get a little bit of extra storage underneath there as well. Rear fold seats. You just press these buttons here. And those will release it and fold the seats down for you. So that's pretty nice. Take a look at this one. It just pops them and releases them right there. Uh, this cargo tray is removable. So you can remove that and get it out of the way if you so choose to. Same with this one up top here. Obviously there just for a little bit of protection and security. With the IX, obviously you do get the gold badges. So that's pretty neat there. Pretty neat how they, they make that look. And you'll notice too on the car, um, obviously this is made out of carbon fiber to keep weight down. Um, the less weight you have, you know, obviously the better it handles, better performs, you know, better range it gets as well. And you do have a couple different options as far as wheels go. Uh, I'll throw a couple of those up on the screen so you can take a look at them. These are definitely a unique, unique look here because you do have, basically it's like a, it's an opening that you could almost hold on to, which is definitely different. Um, obviously with the 22s, they do come with summer tires. So just be aware of that when you are ordering one. This does sport a grill up front. Now from what I've been told, the grill is self-healing. Um, it does have all your infrared sensors and everything up front in it. So that'll cover you there. So a pretty neat feature on the IX, your washer fluid cap fill, or washer fluid fill is actually up front here. So it's definitely a unique feature for the IX. Obviously you have your front camera washer, your front camera and everything. This has the BMW laser lights equipped on it. So we'll go out, we'll take this for a drive. We'll see how it looks and everything. See how it handles, see how it accelerates. That's quick. That's probably half throttle. We'll drive it around. We'll get the battery up to temperature. Overall driving impressions of the IX are actually pretty nice. I mean, comfortable seat, good driving position. You know, feel like you're sitting up a little bit higher, like you're sitting in a truck, but not too bad overall. I mean, nice dash, nice display. Everything looks good, crisp, clean to see does have a little bit of noise under acceleration, which is nice. Not bad. Fast, definitely fast. If I were to say one thing about it, it is fast. I mean, we're just putzing along here. Pretty neat looking at the gauge displays, showing you power and everything. Nice responsive steering. 
That feels good. Does have a lot of regenerative braking, which is typical of EVs. I believe you can adjust that in the car. At least you were able to in the iX50 to the left. Well, let's hammer down and see what she does. Not bad. Nice little power torque. Power P. I believe top speed on this is 120 or 130. Do a little launch control here real quick. Oh, that definitely goes. Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, that'll get you going there. I didn't even get to see or look at the numbers and see what it even was. Hey guys, thanks a look. Thanks a lot for coming out and taking a look at the 2023 BMW iX M60. Hope this was informative. Hope it was helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe for more. And take care and have a good one.